The world's largest refinery of newly minted gold, the Perth Mint in Western Australia, has teamed up with a leading precious metals digitisation company, InfiniGold, and released the world's first government-sponsored gold crypto token, the PMGT, the Perth Mint Gold Token. PMGT allows blockchain users to conveniently trade and hold gold stored at the Perth Mint. How does it work? Well, one PMGT is exchangeable for exactly one Perth Mint Gold Pass certificate, and one Gold Pass certificate is exchangeable for exactly one PMGT. There are no exchange fees, each certificate is 100% backed with physical Perth Mint Gold stored in central bank grade vaults, with the weight and purity of every ounce guaranteed by the Western Australian Government. Looking at this comparison table with various other gold investment platforms, we can see that PMGT's underlying assets are government guaranteed. There are zero transaction fees, zero storage and management fees, 24-7 trading, and PMGT are redeemable for physical gold. Note though that there is an asterisk there. All that means is that in order to redeem PMGT for physical gold, you must have a verified Gold Pass account with the Perth Mint. Gold Pass is an app that can be downloaded for free on Google Play or the Apple App Store. It was created by the Perth Mint in conjunction with InfiniGold and allows users to securely buy, sell and transfer physical gold via digital certificates. If you're not interested in cryptocurrency, you could cut out this step altogether and just use the Gold Pass app. Investors can send gold in real time to other Gold Pass users or redeem their digital certificates for physical gold or cash at any time. It also allows transactions in either Australian or US dollars, making it an excellent option for global investors or those wishing to gain exposure to gold in US dollar terms. What is the minimum and maximum investments? The minimum investment is 0.001 ounces of gold, which is approximately $2.20 Australian or $1.50 US. There is no limit to the maximum investment. What about the fees and charges? There is no fee charged on account balances nor any ongoing management fee. Certificate fees do apply on buy and sell transactions and vary depending on transaction value. For full details of all fees and charges, please see Section 7 in our terms and conditions. Looking at Section 7, we can see that for transactions below $10,000, there's a 1% fee for both buying and selling. As the transaction value increases, the percentage fee becomes progressively cheaper. There are no transfer fees and no storage fees. Unless otherwise stated, all fees are inclusive of any applicable goods and services tax or value-added tax. But please read the terms and conditions for yourself to get the full details. Anyway, if you're interested in investing in physical gold, Gold Pass seems like a great option for the casual investor. Note that I have no affiliation with the Perth Mint nor Infini Gold, so this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. So how has gold been performing of late? In this chart, we can see that gold prices have risen by more than 20% over the last six months in Australian dollar terms, and by about 15% in US dollars. Here's the two-year chart for gold prices in Australian dollars, a total increase of 33.09%. So what are the advantages of gold investment? Firstly, gold is a hedge against inflation. Whenever interest rates fall, or more importantly, inflation rises, investors tend to buy into gold. The same applies for when financial markets fall. Secondly, gold has strong global market demand. It's traded all over the world and carries great cultural significance worldwide. Which brings us onto the third advantage, gold has intrinsic value. It is used in jewellery throughout many societies, as well as in dentistry, computers and electronics. Finally, gold is liquid. That is, gold can easily be converted to cash whenever you need to. What about the disadvantages? The main one is that gold is not a passive investment. That is, gold does not pay a yield. Passive investments like stocks or ETFs often pay a regular dividend, whereas with gold, you can only make money by selling it on the open market. This may be seen as an advantage for some investors, as capital gains tend to be given preferential tax treatment over ongoing income from dividends and interest etc. Secondly, gold has to be stored. However, this cost seems to be fairly minimal for the online investor. As we saw before, there are no storage costs associated with the Perth Mint's Gold Pass or with PMGT. I guess all the security infrastructure is already in place, and the transaction fees cover any ongoing costs. 
And the last disadvantage, short-term volatility. Gold prices can be volatile in the short term, just like shares, but tend to bear fruit over the long term. Over the last 45 years, gold has increased by an average of about 9% per annum. That almost matches the share market and certainly outperforms other defensive assets like cash and bonds. CEO at the Perth Mint, Richard Hayes, had these words to say about the new gold cryptocurrency. People have been able to buy gold for thousands of years. In recent times in Australia, you could come to somewhere like the Perth Mint and buy a physical ounce of gold you could lock in your safe or put under your bed or bury in your back garden to keep it safe. The digitization of gold via a public ledger will promote gold as a mainstream investment, enhance its accessibility, and offer greater liquidity and a auditability. It means an ounce of gold can be purchased very easily, very quickly, with the convenience of a smartphone, without going through all of the physical transaction side of things. This is a world first in that there is physical gold that backs every unit and that gold is not only guaranteed by the Government of Western Australia, but it is also physically stored through our network of central bank grade vaults in Perth. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Personally, I don't currently invest in gold, but now that it's becoming so much easier, I may just consider it in the not-too-distant future. Thanks for watching.